so I'm currently on a 3,000 mile road trip back to New York from LA in my cappuccino. And I already made the road trip video to this, but I feel like this place is too cool for me to really just skim through it. So in this video, I'm gonna take my sweet time. We're gonna go over the OK exhibit. We're gonna go over some of the 50s classics over there. Some of the cool stuff on that side. Citroen, I know that's a French company. Some BMW stuff, there's also some bikes. Yeah, there's some motorcycles over there. And then even outside, there's a couple cool cars, including my cappuccino. So the way I'm gonna do it, I think I'm gonna do a full 360. So I start here with this one. I go around to the Fiat section, go over there, full circle. Then we'll end on the K cars. And then I'll go inside the gift shop, show you that. And then in the parking garage, there's even a couple cars over there as well. So first on the list, I'm gonna show the page for every vehicle if anybody wants to screenshot it. But we got this. Looks like it could be a K. Looks like a couple Hot Wheels I had back in my day. Then we have this Fiat. Wow, from 1936. It's a four speed. Interior is clean. I'm assuming these have to be repainted or they're just very well preserved. It's probably like the gas cap. It almost looks like a big Daihatsu Midget 2 or um, Mira now that I see this little, little bus door in the back. Fiat Nova. Drop top, got the wood grain steering wheel. This is a Fiat too, this looks crazy. 1985, I love the rims. Frog. Wow, we got a Momo. That's cool. There's not even really much to say. It's just, I'm in awe just like you guys. This is cool. I like this a lot, actually. This needs to be a, I gotta learn more about this. 1970, oh, it's a replica. Even if this is this is you know I can get behind this. Open the door like that. Suicide. Yeah, I love this. It's like a two-seater deck van cool um the American version. What is it? El Camino or something like that? It's like an El Camino slash uh, Mighty Boy. Pretty cool. Wow, I love the wheels on this one too. Five hundred CC. This looks like that um Honda Vamos we've seen at Duncan. Oh wow, look at this. Always wanted one of these. I heard they're like very cool. I heard they're very quick. They just have typical car problems. But I always wanted one. They sound amazing. Got another Fiat. Wow, I'm gonna take a picture of this. I gotta grab some inspiration. This is something that we could do to a K car one day. Let me take a full video actually. Double recording. But yeah, we can definitely do this to like a Honda Today or something. Just build this. This looks like it's just obviously put on top. Cage, got it. Momo. Yeah, we could definitely, in this 2024, we're gonna build some type of like, is it gonna be quick? No, but it's gonna look like this and be just as cool with some like WBTF stickers on there. 
almost feel like I'm looking at um, K cars. This is the stock version, which I also really like. Definitely will get one of those. And then this is the rally car version. The fact that this was built in 1948 is very impressive. Is this the race car version of that? No, this is 1980. To put in perspective on how low this is. I wonder if, I wonder who copied who. Because these look like K cars, like the Subaru 360 to an extent, and some of the Hondas from this era. I wonder who copied who. These are all Nuvas. Oh, we saw this one already. I didn't even realize. But yeah, all right. We're now leaving the Fiat section. Let's head, let's go straight actually. Let's go to some cars that I'm very familiar with. Coming soon, we have a 1990 Suzuki Alto. This one's a 550cc. It says the original price was 7,500, top speed of 80. We've seen this on the channel a bunch of times, but never with this interior. And I don't think ever this clean, it even has a clock, the stock wheel. That window pops out, which is cool. Stock rims too, I don't think I've ever seen that. Then we have another K that I'm very interested in. This one is definitely a monster truck and I wonder if it even has a motor. <laughs> but it's a Minica. As you guys know, I'm currently waffling one. But this is the 550 three cylinder, is it all wheel drive? Front wheel drive. But they make an all wheel drive version too of a very cool hatch, very underrated. I don't think a lot of people even know about these. But I definitely, like I would get this before the Alto, not only for the uniqueness, but look at this interior. Look at the bolstering, the gauges and everything look cooler. I think the front end is cooler. The round headlights are always a W, but this one just looks like a rally monster with that hood scoop up there. Then even the lights back here are like, they just look very 90s. Next we have a Honda Beat. Another car we're pretty familiar with. Don't love that wheel. Seats are pretty cool though. Everything looks very clean. And then next to this, we have the 2015 Big Brother. It's pretty cool that out of the ABC cars, there's a newer version of the Beat. Like there's not a 2015 Cappuccino, there's not a 2015 AZ1, but there's a 2015 newer technology, same platform essentially, Honda Beat. It's just now called the 660, but everything else is still pretty much the same. Top speed is 83. 83 six speed five speed 63 horsepower 64 horsepower water cooled same thing essentially just with airbags 2015 styling 2015 brakes 2015 te technology everything like look at this i know a lot of people watching this video would be very quick to buy something like this in comparison to the beats because there's some beats that even go for the amount of money that this msrp is at next we have the 1993 az1 it was only around for two years. MSRP of 12.4 in comparison to this Alto, which was 7.5. That's probably why these didn't sell too many, and that's why they're $20,000 right now. Because back then, people were not trying to spend 13 bands on a K car, which is supposed to save you money on taxes and not take up too much room and give you all those benefits. Still a very cool car, though. I do see myself getting one eventually. I just cannot justify the $20,000 price, even $15,000 price. Here's some other significant K cars. I've never heard of the Sunlight before, but we got the Cappuccino, that's outside. REX, I never heard of that before either. Oh, it's rear wheel drive, that's sick. And then Copen, in a couple more years, we'll be able to get the Copen. Anything on this side? Here's some more K knowledge, if anybody wants to screenshot that. And then over here, Wow, look at that. Got the end box. Well, I didn't show you guys the end box yet. And a couple more K's that are here. But look at this. 
AZ1 broken down. I get it, I get it. It's cool, it's cool. But 20,000, I just can't do it. Here is a Vamos. Original price of $3,000, 1972. We have a Honda Life K van, I guess you could say, from 1973. Original cost of $1,100. I know inflation obviously changes that, but still. It's very sick to see a very old K van. I'd buy this now. I'd buy this now for like close to, f I don't know. What would you guys pay? Comment below what you would pay for this. Even the interior is really nice. You got an ashtray there. I love the flatness there. I'll be able to eat my food when I pull over. You got rear speakers. K vans now don't even have rear speakers. Like if I found one of these in like normal condition, I think I'd pay. I don't know, I gotta pay like 7,000, honestly. I know it's extremely slow. What's, what motor does it have? Look, 360, <laughs> that's 30 horsepower. I know I'm gonna be going very slow, but I guess I'll actually treat this like a K car and I wouldn't do crazy road trips, but this actually might be one of my favorite cars here. Cause you know, K vans to me are the best K. I think K cars are cool, but in reality, this is just like a GTI or something like that. You know, like a hot hatch. This is just a right-hand drive Miata. This is again, another hot hatch. That one is pretty unique, hence the price. But these are just right-hand drive cars. K-trucks, also super cool. I love them, but they're two-seaters. And for someone who really isn't going to use the bed living in New York City, they don't make sense. But K-vans, you get the best of every world. You get the uniqueness. You get the storage. You get the four seats. You get the huge trunk. You get the, the same looks from everybody else. You're sitting on top of the wheels. It gives you like a roller coaster feel. K-vans will always be my favorite. Over here, I think I've seen one of these before. This looks like a work truck. 1971 yeah this is like a cool work truck back in the day carrying around some parts back in japan n600 like these don't make me as happy wow it's left hand drive i wonder why oh went to european and american markets this might have been sold i wonder if this came from somewhere in america that'd be pretty cool but yeah these don't really excite me too much like even this doesn't really excite me too much it's cool, obviously. It's extremely clean. It's history. To me, this is just like a Kia Soul. It doesn't have as much life as these are K-Vans. Don't get me wrong. If I had the ability to buy one, I obviously would. But just to be unique. But if this was, let's say it's 2036 and might have many options, I don't see myself buying something like this. It's cool, obviously. Airbags and all the nice technology but it looks like a it looks like a mini cooper country man or cross country whatever it's called like the four door version we are now in the german section so let's check out some of these love the white walls love the shape of this it's like Straight out of Great Gatsby. Talk about white on white. Wow, 35? They had cars like this back in 1935. 1938, wow. It's almost hard to believe. Top speed of 72 miles per hour. They probably felt like they were hauling at like 40. And trust me, I know what they feel. <laughs> 90 miles per hour in this one. What's the top speed of this one? I hope it's close to 100. 60, damn. Oh, it's 1935, I forgot. 100 would be crazy. Love this Audi. This has to be, yeah, Virginia place. This has to be someone's car. You got the initials there.
wow that's the ac i actually seen this before i've seen this on an old car and i was like what the hell is this and then i read it that's ac i'll check out these two give you guys a full review so if you haven't already subscribe to the channel like this video what does the front end look like this looks like straight out of like call of duty Nineteen twenty-nine. Top speed of fifty-two miles per hour. Can you imagine? I wonder what that little thing in the middle is. But can you imagine going even forty in that? Let alone fifty. These are cool. I know they remade them. What are they called? I know what these are called. Like a seven. Yeah, I know they remade these to like newer versions. This one's an eighty-one. Is this the newer version? Look at the size of that steering wheel. No, this one's a 65. Wow, even older. Straight out of Great Gatsby again. 95 miles per hour and it weighs a thousand pounds. Crazy. One of my dream cars right there. These headlights look oh yeah they pop up probably one of the first cars with pop-up headlights the lighting in here is so perfect i'm loving the fact that i'm making a video look at this digital dash 150 pounds i mean 150 top speed in its current form crazy wow look at that. so many cars so many cars we're gonna go in order we're at 1998 i wonder what these go for i wonder if it's because it's a 98 that means it's more money or less money look at that color but yeah this is definitely one of my dream cars This is a 2013 Lotus. Yeah, that one looks way better. Free ride, October 23rd. That's crazy. Let me see what they're looking at in here. Wow. Look at that. Check this out. Nineteen thirty-three Helichrom. Look at that steering wheel. <laughs> it has an extra tire, like that's important. <laughs> like getting a flat would be one of the main concerns of this. And it's a two-seater. If anybody's wondering, this top five, usually top five car here. Eighteen horsepower. I mean, eighteen miles per hour. Shots of France for inventing this in 1969. I need to find one. This looks like the game piece in Monopoly that they give you. If 
fact that it has a BMW in the middle of the stairwell is pretty cool. And that mirror, it's like not even here, it's right next to the driver. Lotus bicycle. I wonder how much this cost. Original cost not posted. I think probably weighs like five pounds. Looks like it's completely out of carbon fiber. This, again, top five. Let me show this Harley real quick. 1910 Harley Davidson. Wow. Harley Davidson has been out since the tens? What do you even say to this, honestly? Let's just not say nothing. I love this yellow, by the way. Like, the attention to detail goes beyond just the exterior. Yellow. Yellow back here. I'd pay. Like, if there was a slot machine to pay to start it up, I'd pay. I would pay to hear how this sounds. Then we have this. This sounds like, um, the Speed Racer, like the movie, like the cartoon. Again, another top five. They put a door to show how narrow it is. Like, what was the thought process in 1948? Even this. What was the thought process in 1984? That's actually very later. You guys seen a lot of cool cars come for you to create this. Another bucket list car. Yeah, man, I could really spend all day here. It sucks that I have to drive back to New York ASAP. I can't be here for much longer. So I might have to speed this up a little bit. I've been here for very long. This almost looks like I could just pick it up with one hand. Yeah, it's made out of wood. I was gonna say it looks extremely light. Let's check this out. I wonder if that's the gas and brake or just a brake. Check this Volkswagen out though. Top speed of only 100 miles per hour. That's actually pretty low. I thought it'd be higher with those aerodynamics and everything and electrical. Pretty cool. Are these K cars as well? Are these all Subarus? Yeah, I think they Oh, yeah, they are. They're part of the K. I didn't even realize. This is what a sandbar looked like in the 70s. What? Wow. I've never seen... I've seen an old Honda before, but I've never seen an old sandbar. Sandbar squad. You guys digging this or what? Because I'm digging it. I don't care about the flaps. You get the flaps right there. And you can still put things underneath. Check out this sandbar van, also from the 1970s. Got the nut cooler. It's left hand drive. Ashtrays, still get some amenities. Looks like the motor's probably still in the back. Yeah, the motor's definitely still in the back. Same for that one too. We got a 360, is it a deluxe? It says deluxe. Look at that logo, man. That logo is definitely one of the best ever. Again, 1970. They got the one, two, three lineup. Battery just died. Before I grab a new one, let me not lose my train of thought. But this is really nice. Supercharged, four wheel drive, four cylinder. Still got the Clover four, but just in a hot hatch. And let's look at the page for this um, sandbar. Then I go grab another battery so we can walk around. I told you guys, I've been here a long time. Original cost is that. Wow. Just replaced the battery. While I'm here, I figured I'd show you guys some of the other cars. So we got this weird S2000 Miata type thing. Then this Honda today. I don't never see this body style. I think this is probably the best looking one. I see a lot of the new ones that people import. 
but this one not only just looks the best but i feel like it's the most aggressive you get the round headlights the back looks like an acti almost let me go up these steps and check these out this might be the three wheel section nice I wonder if they have a original midget. This can't be three wheels. This is three wheels? Just one front wheel? Wow, yeah, one front wheel. You would think it would always be the opposite. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. The fact that a lot of these are plated is even more insane honestly but i guess they have to maybe for insurance and stuff this matte black one is aggressive 1934 look at the thing back there that's probably for the vents too that's definitely one of my favorites we got one of these all right let's go let me go back here actually because i think there's some more cars and then we'll head inside. I'll give one last review. This video is probably like 40 minutes long at this point. Since my batteries are dying. But over here. I can't even really tell what's over here. Oh, military vehicles. I don't even know what this is. If this is what they're giving to people in the military. Sign me up. Hot Wheels Toolbox. Not even sure what that means exactly. I guess it's an actual toolbox, but it looks like it has a motor. That's probably just for show, obviously. Yeah, it's just for show. But we got a ambulance. I wonder if there's a page on this. Oh yeah, 1980. This does look pretty badass, honestly. We have a tow truck. This is huge. We got another tow truck. Look at this. Talk about VIP. Look at the size of it as well. You could definitely fit. Nah, you can't fit two Ks. I'm lying. You can fit one though, for sure. Then we got this. One of these GP type things. Interesting paint job. By far the craziest thing I've seen here is this. No need for any explanation why. Straight out of James Bond. Wow, I didn't even realize the propeller in the back. Wow, this is crazy. I'm telling It really sucks that I can't spend more time here. What time is that? I gotta get out of here by one and I have no idea what time it is. 12.44, I gotta leave here in 16 minutes or I'm gonna be even more behind schedule. Take two, walk around. This is actually the photo op car, which is cool. Definitely wanna get a picture next to that. But yeah, let's try to walk around. Let's still show every car some love. But I don't think I can stop at every paper, sadly. This. still haven't found words to describe exactly what that was. Loving this chrome. This thing is neat. I feel like I used this in Twisted Metal before. That's cool. This is cool. I actually showed some of these in the other video. Just click the corner and watch that one. 
I went over this side because this had some very unique things like the Subaru which I guess is not a K car because it's not in the K car section but it's a 360 I guess not though and this I mean what do you even say about this what does one even say what's oh, a pedal car look at the, look at the visibility uh, this thing just got some nice shine to it wow look at this look at the paint scheme and just look at the way it looks in general oh wow look at that driver's seat I didn't even realize it's a five seater wow Wow, this has headlights and turn signals. Submersed mobile. It looks like it's been underwater. This is cool. We're kind of back to the normal stuff to an extent. Three wheel. Let me check out some of these motorcycles. I actually haven't gone over here. If they don't have a motor comp, I'm gonna be gently disappointed. They have to have one. Like, wow. From the looks of it, I don't think they do. They got that. Wow. No motor comp. I should have sold them mine. That's crazy. It needs to be right here. I mean, they got some cool bikes. I just, I'm not really into bikes for me to understand anything. That one looks pretty awesome, though. And, like, I could appreciate it. But at the same time, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Which kind of goes for these cars, too. But at least I could buy a car. I wouldn't buy any of those. I'd buy this tomorrow. 1998 from the Netherlands. It's import legal. Wow, this is actually sick. I'm gonna take a picture of this. <laughs> wow, how much do these go for? Can't imagine it being a lot of money. Wow, current co original cost 12,000. That's still a lot. 12,000? That's a lot. I think someone on here follows me that lives in the Netherlands. This thing is nice, but 12 G's, even back then, sounds like so much money. I've seen this before. This is cool. There's three lights. I like this a lot too. 57, wow. Did not expect it to be that old. It has like some cool styling to be a 57. Look at this bicycle. 1869. Wow. What a time. What a time. This is what I want to see from the newer K vans. Weird stuff like this. Not that end box. End box is wackety whack whack. 2003. Not even that new. This is what I like to see. Maybe I'll import one of these. Actually, that'd be pretty smart. I never thought about that. We could technically import cars that are not from Japan that after they're 25 years old. Like, we could get this after the Copen. That'd be crazy to own. I don't know how reliable and stuff they are or if any of them are preserved the way Japanese preserve cars. But let me um, put this camera down. I'm going to go to the gift shop. I want to walk around and make some little shorts that you guys are probably watching or haven't watched yet. And then um, we'll end this video here, honestly. I'm actually buying something for the Patreon members. I'm gonna buy this unbox and give it away to someone in there.
sandbar right there, classic. Damn, should I buy that sandbar? Cost as much as this, but I think I might do it. But yeah, I end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. If you actually made it this far, you're the real MVP. So I end up getting two Subaru Sandbar Classic vans. They had one behind the counter that I didn't realize, and I don't really care about the mirror. That one's gonna be free on Patreon. If anybody wants one of these, let me know. I paid 22 bucks plus tax. And now what we're gonna do is head home in the cappuccino. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Remember the name. This is for the fame.